hello everyone hope you guys are doing great so in order to set up a private cloud what you need is a virtualized environment where you can manage your cloud where you can manage your virtual machines and everything so for this particular setup uh, what I'm using here is Ubuntu 16.04 and uh, it's a typical desktop that we are using and we'll be using KVM uh, along with Open Nebula, uh, Open Nebula installation version 5.10.4. You can use any other also, whichever one is latest. And this installation on the left navigation panel, you could see there are installation steps given on their website. I will leave this into the description of the video. Uh, so this installation will be in two steps: front end and node installation. So for front end. Uh, uh, there are steps which are given uh, for the installation stepwise we will go step one uh, depending on the platform that you are using and what we want to do is we will first have to add the repositories uh, so if you are using CentOS you can follow the steps here as I am using Debian uh, sorry Ubuntu so appropriate version uh, repos are given so you just have to copy it and open your command line <coughs> maybe switch to root and make the command run so this is just to add the repo for my Ubuntu 16.04 then I'll go for uh, step 3 so again look for if you're using CentOS and all so you can have to uh, use appropriate command uh, Debian Ubuntu so this is the third step to make the update pretty good update so this will take some time and during this installation you may or may not you know have any errors encounter any errors so if you do encounter any errors try to resolve them guys it is uh, okay so there is this uh, no public signature could not be verified error I have got here ok so yeah uh, a quick uh, google will give you result on these errors so for my uh, error I have uh, found this online uh, just have to add this key from so I'll just have to copy paste the command along with the customize error key that I've got there it is just have to copy paste and yeah it's done so update is successfully done second is there are different packages of which description is given below I'll just install these packages which are minimal mandatory requirement for the private cloud to get up and running where you can run your virtual machines so yes so this is the near yeah, 298 MPs this will take some time for the packages to get installed on the front end the installation that we are currently doing is of front end once we do this you can you have to make the backend installation which could be done in either on the same machine or on different nodes which are connected in a cluster so that could be uh, done but for this particular uh, video or setup I will be using one single machine for both front-end and back-end installation as I am just looking for a proof of concept POC for my research project so this uh, this can be used as your private cloud where you would want to do some experimentation uh, specifically for your mtech or btech projects even if you have something some research ideas so to validate your POC I mean you can use this setup so yeah this is taking a while just uh, make sure that you don't get any errors 
if at all if you get any error during any of the installation you have to address those issues there itself so please be careful and have a have an eye on this installation when it is happening a lot of packages of ruby and others are getting installed let's see open nebula common these are different uh, libraries yeah and uh, an expert uh, installation can also be done yeah this is done so yeah there are some issues though uh, uh, I've got some kernel issues of this firmware uh, I'm just going to again search for them you might not get these issues I'm not uh, I mean I'm not sure but just do look for if any firmware missing issues or errors you're getting of this uh, you will get the answers online if not uh, comment I mean post your errors in the comment section and I will see if I can help you uh, so yeah mm, let me just close this right so just uh, solve those issues by you know referring to online installation the front end installation is done now ruby runtime installation this is optional as I'm going to leave this I'm just doing bare minimal installation uh, but you can always go for it if you know a thing about this and everything this also I'm going to skip as it is optional now I think uh, the next step is to start open nebula uh, yeah so uh, by command line you can uh, from command line you can access the opening for that you will need to uh, op I mean let's go back start the service the service is open nebula you can start it the backend service will start and next thing that you want to do is uh, once this service is started you can go for sunstone service which is a front end so open nebula can be accessed by cli command line interface or by uh, let me close all these tabs for uh, by GUI uh, command line interface CLI and uh, sorry CLI GUI and programmatically sorry for that APIs so there are three ways in which you can access uh, the cloud cloud services up and running as you can see over here so for this uh, username and password default username and password to get these credentials you'll have to switch to one admin user which is created during the installation and here by giving the specific path of a uh, hidden uh, dot one slash one auth file contains the username colon password so I just need to copy the password you can change this password from the file or uh, what I prefer doing is I create another user with the administrative privileges leaving this one admin as it is so that's what I'm going to do go under system users add a user a username I will give and some password you'll have to set confirm the password and change the group to one admin when once you do this the prasad user under one admin group would get created and next time you can log in from that user and here you would need to add hosts uh, so currently we don't have any working work I mean backend so for that we will need to go to node installation from the same uh, navigation pane now here node installation for KVM is given so again if you're using nodes from different machine you will have to add a repo again repositories but as we have already done it we don't need it otherwise you will need to just like the one that we did you need to do this but make sure that you are in root uh, you will have to again add the repository again update the second step so repeat get update uh, so if you are doing this is actually unnecessary but I'm just anyways I'm doing it uh, because I'm using the same machine for front-end installation and back-end installation so this is this does not make any sense so anyways uh, the next thing that you would want to do is you would want to add open nebula node so, so this is relatively uh, a light installation I would say 
must not take much time still depending on your internet speed the entire setup if you are not getting any errors guys so it get it should get over within 30 minutes uh, it will create one admin in the node session and section as well on the node as well after that you need to start liberty so if you are using ubuntu or debian depending on your installation they have given the uh, commands to start the service pretty good explanation self explanatory you know installation steps they have given so uh, okay copy paste so the node installation step 2 is done uh, it's a major step which is left is configuring passwordless SSH so for this this is a very crucial step what uh, the description is going given over here so if you have a node and a front end they should be able to communicate without any password so for that uh, you need to configure this passwordless SSH properly what you have to do is uh, from the authorized keys from uh, each and every node it should be able to you know the front end should be able to access each and every node so for that you need to do this uh, SSH key scan okay uh, this is the command so instead of front end you would write maybe the name or the IP address of your front end and node 1 2 3 can write that so here uh, you have to yeah just do this let's let me open tab public keys are shared in uh, yeah so I'll just copy this command where I can copy the public keys into private should I find okay I should replace this with local host the node name currently I'm using the same node which is localhost I'll just write localhost and uh, should I okay, let me okay so I think I should you know execute this on normal user which is my native user Prasad not the root user let me just delete this and come out of root paste it over here okay so oh, SSH okay 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 mm. I guess yeah varlib1 is uh, okay varlib1 is property of one admin user which is the home directory of one admin user so I'll have to go to one admin and then yeah yeah great so yeah this uh, is done you can okay it's, 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 let me just check the yeah authorized known host I'll just have to I'll just cat the known host and here I could see there are okay great so this kind of output you'll see and just to you know verify you can do SSH and localhost and it should not ask you for password it should not prompt you for password so if that is the case then you have successfully configured a passwordless SSH access between your front end and nodes respective nodes so if you have multiple nodes you'll have to carry this activity repeat this activity for each and every node of yours so okay so this is done and here they have explained how you can check uh, okay so this is the next thing that you would want to do okay so yeah uh, SSH config this uh, particular extra layer of security is needed if possible yeah so you can add that as well uh, so by modifying this uh, ssh config file can do that uh, what are those but if not needed you can just uh, leave that mm, okay so here we would just 
start restart the service open nebula and uh, then restart the sunstone as well which is a GUI service uh, and the sunstone runs at 9869 port so I'll just go to local 9869 I have saved the password okay I should have logged in from Prasad but it's okay so go to infrastructure hosts add host and just write down the name of the host local host or you can just write the IP as well make sure you write the same thing when you do it at uh, SSH key scan and here so just uh, wait for a minute or so should the status should yeah there is there it goes so it shows that the host is up and running and uh, you can just check your network configuration if config here you would see that a virtual bridge is uh, you know created so yeah that's uh, uh, that you will need this bridge in order to deploy your virtual machine so if you need any guidance or a video on the uh, VM creation and all you just drop and uh, drop the comments and I will make a video on that as well thank you